Hey guys, it's your boy Juice, and I'm back again with another episode of Madden 17 Connected Franchise Miami Dolphins Edition. I think this is episode 10, because this is week 11, and we had a bye week. So yeah, I'm pretty sure this is episode 10, and we are going up against the St. Louis Rams. Is this St. No, it's Los Angeles. I forgot that they moved that to uh, Los Angeles. And I think, what, it's been like 25 years or something like that since and since the team has been to Los Angeles. I, th I was hoping the Chargers would move, but, you know, L.A., L.A. was, or St. Louis was pretty old, so, yeah. I would, I understand why they moved. You see me looking at all these dudes. I'm just going to look at everybody now. See, San Santez, so fabulous. Sanchez, fabulous. Rob Welch. You see, you already see everybody I already uh, uh, researched from the other episodes, even diamond from last episode which are probably gonna draft yeah i'm gonna go ahead and you know cut off commentary here and i'm gonna let larry ridley and jim nance and all that peace hello everybody i'm larry ridley and this is madden 17 on ea sports in today's matchup two teams coming in feeling good about how their last game went and want to continue with another win here today. It's the Dolphins going up against the Rams. And we'll send you over to L.A. now where Brandon Godden and Charles Davis have the call. Larry, we haven't had NFL football in this city for 22 years, but football is back here in Los Angeles. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the Miami Dolphins and the Los Angeles Rams. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you look at this Rams team as they interplay. They come in playing pretty good football, winners of four of their last six games. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Dolphins, they've certainly found their groove of late, winners of five in a row. And I think the sky's the limit for this team. So out come the Rams now. Okay, we are back, They'll and I heard uh, Brandon Godden say it was 22 years. You see, Jared got five Jared picks, 14 Wallace. touchdowns. Yeah, he's doing good. Until you realize that the first play, something's going to happen. I'm not going to say what. Pretty sure y'all already know. Jared got overthrows. Basically, like, really bad. Chris Culliver interception. I think that's, his, like, second or, yeah, second interception this season. Ryan Tannehill hands off to Kenyon Drake. Get oh, a four-yard gain on the play. He was second to six, you know what I'm saying? Pass it to Jordan Cameron. He gets it blown up. Luckily, you know, he held on to the ball. Going one for seven yards. We're going to do another run here. We're going to take it out to the left, second and 20. But they were not ready for the run, so, you know, gain of 11 right there. Now it's third and nine. I went ahead and did a pass play to Jordan Cameron. Jordan Cameron catches it, but I I was going to do a rack, but it instantly put me in position, and I wasn't really ready for it, so I just left it alone. Yeah. It's easy. I do another play, but this time to uh, Deion Sims, since it was third and ten. Tight end. I think it was a tight end. I forgot what it was. The play was called, but yeah. Second and goal. Kenyon Drake runs. I thought that was a touchdown. In my opinion, it was a touchdown. In my opinion, it was a touchdown, but I guess to them, it's not a touchdown. So, one hit then a QB sneak with Ryan Tannehill. Touchdown. That's his second touchdown, rushing touchdown of the season, I think. Todd Gurley was not successful in this game. He was terrible this game. You saw a negative three yards. Third and 11 for them. Cameron Wick, I just dove, and Xavier Howard takes him down. So Michael Kendricks can't really get anything on the play. Yeah, let's see. Alec Ogletree, you're gonna see some some of the plays that I didn't show, like that with Kenny Stills. He dropped the ball. Y'all seen? Or y'all didn't see that, but he just destroyed Devonte and y'all y'all saw that one. Yeah. Sorry if I'm sniffling, I'm, I'm sick. Actually. Yeah, I throw it up to Devontae Parker, but EJ Gaines interception. I think he had three interceptions this game, so it was like, it was a turnover. Like, turnover after turnover. You see, I sniffed out the screen. I was going for the pick, but, you know, I didn't get it. I, I, I think it was like five turnovers total this game, so I might um, name this turnover after turnover. But you see, 
Xavier and Howard almost gets a pick on that. That would have been his, his what, second it's pick of the season. Kiko Alonso tries getting to, you know, tight end, but instead he passes it down to his check down, which is Todd Gurley. Pass it over to Kenny Stills. He gets, he gets third and four, I think. Oh, third and three. We, but we go ahead and run it out to the right. And you know we're going to get it. We ain't got nothing to worry about. And a game of about 10 yards. Yeah, 10 yard game. Third and 10. I do a little screen screen. Arian Foster can't break no tackle. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and punt it. But there's always a reason why I show you special teams. Matt Dar had the audacity, which is, you know, the program I used to record my uh, audio. But audacity to take the ball, move it around in that, and do all this extra type of stuff, which got me mad. So I was like, you know, I'm going to go do a cover three on this play. But Jared Goff made a mistake. Interception, but it's not just a regular old interception. Y'all know he's off to the races. At number 80 falls. Todd Gurley's chasing. Todd Gurley's chasing. So I just dive into the end zone. Pick six. Issa Abdul Quiddis. That's his first pick six and the second pick six for the Miami Dolphins. And I think our seventh pick interception of the season. Um, don't quote me on that. Anybody who's seen my other videos, don't quote me because I don't really look at the stats but I'll I'll make I'll make sure to like show the stats next episode don't quote me on that I probably won't to be honest but you see he throws it to Todd Gurley Todd Gurley just I don't know Todd Gurley was amazing this game when it came to the pass not to the run to the run he couldn't do anything third and ten a kick I use a kick of Alonzo but you know they just throw it out of, throw it to his tight end they went out of bounds I don't know why they did that fourth and nine but you know I was like oh Devontae Parker gone psych EJ Gaines and I don't know interception two picks I think that was that was the second pick no no <laughs> yeah EJ Gaines only had two picks because it was three turnovers for them and then two for him so, something like that yeah, Michael Kendricks. Rashad Jones can't bring him down, so Issa has to come and bring him down. Field goal. I almost blocked it. Like, I got through the line. So, I went ahead and showed this. Like, eh. I know it's not really worthy. But there's always a reason. Because, like, I was like, huh, I'm going to just show that. So, they know I had three points. They got the field goal. You already know why I'm showing kickoff. You already know. Jarvis said you take it out. Jukes out to the left. Takes it back and cuts back out right. Er other way around, and he's gone. Jarvis saying he is gone. Kick return for a touchdown. That's what I'm talking about. That's his second kick return of the season. Now we got all we gotta do is get him one punt return. I might even try making him beat the world, the uh, NFL record for most kick slash punt returns in a. In what I don't even is it in the season or in a career? I think it was in a career, which is 12. I think 12 or 13, something like that. No, I'll look it up. Or if I don't, like y'all tell me down in the comments. Let y'all see. That's uh, I don't even I forgot what the coach's name is, but you know. He's already tapping Jared Goff's head and everything. But yeah, let's look at our stats. Jarvis Landry, Mike Pouncey, Jamon Bushrod, all walking, running, all excited. They're beating us in passing yards. They're, I'm beating them in rushing yards. We all saw three touchdowns, or three and three turnovers. But yeah, after those three turnovers, I don't think there was any other turnovers in the, in the rest of the game. We just smoked the punts. But y'all see, I'm winning 21 to three, right? I went in and throw it to Jordan, but he can't, he can't hold on to it. He got like like hit in the head, so he's like, oh, I'm dead. That actually rhymed. But you see, I'm not a rapper. Uh, Tavon Austin, that was just one pass, right? And I was just like, oh, okay, one little pass. Then Byron Maxwell can't stay on him. Tavon Austin touchdown. Tavon, Tavon Austin, man. I swear. You see him doing the LeBron James celebration. 48 yard touchdown. Uh, camera wake. I try. I just try like getting some, you know, sacks, sending some pressures, hurries, you know, make Jared Goff make mistakes. But yeah, he he doesn't do that. He he Jared Goff. He's pretty good. Make I think the Rams. I forgot what their record was, but they're doing pretty good. Cole Mesa gets his 15 tackle of the season. Just uh uh. 
Todd Gurley lost about three yards on that play. Cameron Wade gets a sack, the sack I wanted for him, but up two plays ago, but he gets it there, where it's a crucial moment too. Kenyon Drake runs it right up the gut. First down, 12 rushes for 48 yards, which means four yards carry on average. I pass it to Ken or Arian Foster. He can't get the first down. So I was just like, okay, I'm going to do a hurry up, right? Hurry up about a good decision, right? So I went ahead, did a run play with Arian Foster, first down, barely down. So about three yards after the first down marker. So one rush, five yards, Arian Foster gets his first rushing yards of the game. I went ahead and passed it to Jordan Cameron. He gets the first down for us. I'm happy. You know, I'm just trying to get some yards, of course, you know? Uh, Kenyon Drake, I went ahead and do a run play, even though it said I shouldn't. I get the first down anyway. That's what I'm doing. Running back is either to, you know, get the run game or just punch it whenever I need it. I pass it over to, I was going to pass it to Devontae, but they get the sack. So, I was like, okay, they're just going to keep sending pressure. I might as well just keep running up the gut. Arian Foster, almost, they were trying to strip the ball for Arian, but Arian was like, nah, I'm holding up to the ball. Y'all saw, he almost jumped outside. Arian Foster, he keeps running, and he gets tackled about two yards. It's only a two-yard game. I'm going to just take my three points. Uh, second and ten, Todd Gurley, they went ahead and did a pass. I get off the line. Boom. They draw up. What you call it? Jared Goff releases the ball just before. It was either, it was either sack or sack from him. He throws it up. Isab do a punch the ball out of, Norman, of his hand. Fourth and ten, they decide to go for it. But you know we're not going to let anybody get the first down. We almost get him off. Brian Maxwell almost gets the pick. Tavon Austin makes sure he doesn't. Even though, you know, Byron Maxwell would love to get a pick. Because he was a former Seahawk and the Rams was in there. Uh, division. Kenyon Drake breaking two tackles. Uh, he was about to break a third one if you know his teammate was if another teammate wasn't there. That was his first reception of the whole game. I went in and passed it to uh Jordan Cameron make the score thirty one to twelve. That is game over. We destroyed them in the second half. 31 12 ending score. You see their coach just be pissed off. Ryan Tannehill is bragging on camera. Uh, Leonte Carew is you know? over there messing with Jared Goff. Jared Goff don't want to do nothing. Jared Goff over there. Congratulations. Congratulating everybody. The coach is going up to number 48. I don't even know his name. But yeah, let's see these stats. I scored in every quarter but the third quarter. 10 or 7, 14, 10. To, yeah, that basically it. Highlights, I see him. Tannehill. That was a touchdown. Ooh, that was the first touchdown of the game. Brian Tannehill, uh, Tavon Austin gets that touchdown, of course, because he's Tavon Austin. Kick return for the touchdown was the best of part of everything. But yeah, but yeah, uh, Issa Abdul, he gets the pick six. But yeah, like, comment, Charles subscribe, Davis share without your press so I get none around the community. Y'all already know your boy the juiciest out of all the juices. So have fun and stay. Other than that, I come around when you least expect me. I'm sitting at the bar when your glass is empty. You think you let the songs come at home to tech me? I need to be alone like the way you left me. You start calling, you start crying. I come over, I'm inside you. I can't find you. The girl that I once had, but the sex that we have isn't half bad.